What's up people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz Weber. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining me. If you are a subscriber, so sorry. I feel like I've completely just abandoned this channel for months, but I do have a good reason. A lot has changed in the last few months, which we will get into. But before we get into that, today's video is going to be a spring Amazon haul. Now we're gonna be talking about things from like fashion, beauty, home items, and then also toddler and baby items. And since I've been away for so long, there are actually so many good things that I absolutely love that I feel like I don't really hear a lot of people talk about. Now, before we dive into the Amazon finds, a little life up Update, I am pregnant with baby number two, which we are so excited. I am due in like the middle of August, which feels like it's gonna be tomorrow. Like this pregnancy in some ways has gone by really fast and in some ways has felt like it has dragged on because unlike my first pregnancy, I've actually been so sick this time. It's crazy to me because I'm having another girl. The gender doesn't always make a difference on whether if you get sick or not. So that's kind of one of the reasons that I took a step back from posting here on YouTube. It just got to be a lot with being sick and I'm always active like daily on TikTok and Instagram. So you can always find my stuff on there. But for longer form content like this, I was like, let's just take like a month or two off and then we'll get back into it. So here we are, we were back into it. Let's go ahead and dive into the spring Amazon haul. Our first category today is going to be fashion. Now, all of these items are things that are newer to me within the last month or so that I cannot stop wearing. I've ordered a lot from Amazon recently as far as like fashion goes because I've been sharing a lot of bump friendly content, like things that are not necessarily maternity, but work with a bump. Not everything has worked out. So these are the things that were like the top items that I'm still absolutely loving. First two items are not sold together. They are sold separately, but I've been wearing them together and it's a CRZ yoga workout set. Now CRZ yoga, if you're not familiar, they are so similar to like a Lululemon or an aloe yoga or an Athleta. The material truly is so high quality. It has that same buttery soft feeling. I love it. And actually I did a comparison between this set compared to a Lululemon set. I actually liked the Amazon one better because I liked the fit better and the quality actually ended up feeling a little bit more substantial. The sports bra in particular, I really liked the shape of it. More of like a square neckline, it has adjustable straps and it just feels very supportive and extremely comfortable. And then the shorts have the same high waistband as the Lululemon ones, but you'll get this whole set for $50. Whereas the Lululemon one is like, I think $115. So big price difference there. And I actually really like the Amazon one a lot better. So are these linen pants. Now, even whenever I'm not pregnant, I love a loose flowy pant because I want to be comfortable. You rarely will see me in jeans unless they're like super comfortable jeans. So a lot of times I'm looking for more of like a flowy wide leg pant. These linen ones from Amazon are chef's kiss. So good. I absolutely love them. They have like a nice elastic waistband with a tie. On me, they hit at a really good length. I am about 5'4". I also love how neutral they are. They go with a ton of stuff and I find myself grabbing them at least once a week. This cream maxi dress is absolutely beautiful. And again, not just beautiful for somebody who is currently pregnant, but bonus, if you are pregnant and you are looking for a dress that was good for like announcement photos, newborn photos, maternity photos, baby shower photos, there's so many different events that I feel like happen and things that like you get photos in or that you have to attend whenever you're pregnant. And this dress I feel like would work for any of them. Again, super comfortable, very stretchy. And of course, great even if you're not pregnant, it's not maternity, but works for that too. I mean, this would be beautiful for just for family photos in general too. I saw someone a while ago, I don't remember who it was, post about these seamless thongs and I was like, I need some new underwear, let's try them out. And now I've bought like three packs of them and that's all I wear. I absolutely love them. You really cannot see them under anything. No matter the material of my outfit, you can never detect these or see these underneath. Again, you'll notice a trend here. Comfort is key for me. I like that these come in a pack and I like the colors. Now this is a new, 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 new find for me, but this yellow floral set, I love this. I haven't seen anybody post this set before, but I was just like scrolling through Amazon, looking up like spring sets. And this was on like the third page. So I was uncertain because I feel like they always have like the most popular bestsellers towards the top. But this one was like, again, on the third page, but I loved it. I thought it was so cute. So I went ahead and bought it and I'm so impressed by it. It's an amazing fit. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I got the white one with like the yellow florals on it, but it comes in like plain colors as well. And now I want more because the pants again, so cozy and the back of them actually does have a zipper, but it also has like a stretchy elastic waistband in the back. Honestly, the quality of this feels like something I would find in like a local boutique for like 80 bucks. It really is so nice, but it feels like PJs in a way. I'm just very impressed by it and the material is extremely lightweight. So I do think it's going to be great going into summer. Now this last item in like the fashion category is more of an accessory, but my phone case. I'm extremely passionate about my phone case because I want it to do a lot, especially as a mom. I'm not always carrying a purse around. I just want to have everything as easily accessible as I can. 
it is velvet caviar it's the brand i've actually had a couple other cases i just really wanted a new one for spring and this one is like white opal iridescent really cute and it's a wallet phone case you can fit up to four cards in it and then i actually stuck my octobuddy to the back of it so i create content for a living so i'm constantly using my octobuddy as like a tripod and it actually fits perfectly over the wallet so i can have both which is really nice again just super convenient the case itself is really cute and it also protects it. My two year old drops my phone so much. She always runs up to me, steals it from me and then drops it. And I'm like, oh, is the screen gonna be cracked? And it never is. So this case has been pretty good. Next up is our beauty section. First item is this Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Strengthening Treatment Oil. I really love this. Not only is the packaging super cute, but a little bit goes such a long way. I literally use like two drops a day and it is amazing for my hair. I've noticed that my hair just feels a lot healthier after using this, even just for a month. And my biggest gripe with hair oils is it actually leaves my hair feeling so oily. This does not. This I just use on my ends. It's super lightweight. And I never feel like I have to like wash my hair immediately after. Like I just style my hair like normal and it really does seem to help repair my hair, especially cause I use heat on my hair almost every day. I like to have things in my hair lineup that are going to protect my hair, but also not weigh it down. I have always loved the Laneige sleep mask, but whenever I found this purple one that's newer, this is the gummy bear one. I don't know what it is, but I love the scent of this. Like I feel like I'm almost addicted to it. Like I get so excited just to open this up and use this. It smells like, it smells like grape soda, and which I feel like it's not everybody's thing. I just love that scent. I don't know, it's almost like a pregnancy craving, but like with a scent, I'm obsessed with this. And I feel like it makes my lips look very healthy, even throughout the day. It is a lip sleeping mask, but I, again, use it a lot throughout the day and not just before bed, but also before bed. Sometimes I'll just put lip liner and this on, almost as like a lip gloss, and it feels like it nourishes my lips throughout the day, and they just look fresh and healthy. I'll also truly smelling amazing. For all the other mamas out there, this Summer Fridays Belly Balm is so good. It's called the Baby Moon Belly Balm. It feels so nice on my skin, and I know people say that there's nothing really you can do to help prevent stretch marks. However, last pregnancy, I really tried to keep my stomach just very moisturized, which sounds kind of silly, but with oils and just belly balms and stuff, and I didn't get any stretch marks. Now, I know, again, that that a lot is genetic, and I might get some this time. I actually saw a few that might be popping up. So I don't necessarily think that this prevents it, but I feel like it can't hurt and it feels really nice just to have like a growing belly that is stretching, feel moisturized and not dry. This one in particular just feels so nice on the skin and a little bit does go a long way. And I've been using it every night. This next item is kind of gross and I feel like it's almost like embarrassing, but my feet have always been so dry, especially my heels. My heels are constantly cracked. It's so bad. I don't understand, like my husband's feet are buttery soft. I don't get it. Like why does he have like really nice soft feet and then mine are just like constantly dry and cracked? I don't know. And it's not even like he moisturizes it. Maybe it's a genetic thing. I don't know. But I found this. I think it's by Dr. Scholes. Yes, Dr. Scholes. And it is a foot file. This works wonders. It doesn't hurt at all or like take off too much skin. I don't wanna get too much into it, but if you also suffer from dry feet, try this out. This is really good. I will also link down below like the foot cream that I've been using that has made such a difference, especially with the summer coming around. I don't want my like cracked heels being exposed. And this has really helped. Last item in the beauty category are whitening strips. I posted these on my Instagram story the other day and a lot of people were asking if they're pregnancy safe. These ones are, they're by Lumino. They are certified non-toxic whitening strips. The ends in here are awesome. They're also enamel safe and peroxide free. I have no sensitivity with these, which whenever I use like the Crest ones, I typically do have like pretty bad sensitivity. These I do not, and they make such a difference. Like I genuinely feel like my smile is so much whiter after using these. I've only used these about five times recently. Like I've used them in the past, but with this pack, I've only used them about five times. And I feel like my smile is already a lot whiter than it was before. I should have taken them before and after. You basically just put a strip on the top and then the bottom, and then you let it sit for 30 minutes. I typically use my walking pad, which we will get into. It's one of my new favorite things, but I'll typically like walk for 30 minutes while I have these on. It goes by super fast, and then I just take them off and brush my teeth. If you are pregnant, of course, I am not a doctor. Like, ask your doctor about everything. My doctor approved these, but remember, I'm not a medical professional, so be sure to check with your doctor first. Our next category is going to be home and kitchen finds. Now, I just mentioned the walking pad. This thing has actually, not to be dramatic, but actually changed my life, and that sounds so dramatic, especially for like an Amazon product, but it really has because for me, I've always been somebody that it's hard for me to get to the gym, especially as a mom. I have a two year old, like it's hard to get to the gym. And I promised myself that this pregnancy, I am gonna work out cause I didn't my last pregnancy, but I know it helps so much with like healing and just in general with your whole pregnancy. So I told myself that my biggest goal was going to be intentional movement. And this treadmill has made it so easy because I think the thing for me is not that I don't enjoy working out, but it does sometimes feel like a chore. So instead what I think I learned is that I need to connect it with something that I love. 
love. So for me, I love watching TV shows. Like right now, this is kind of embarrassing, I feel like, but I've been so hooked on Survivor. I don't know what it is. I've never watched it before in my life, but I'm hooked. There's so many seasons. So that's been like my walking show. So whenever I get on the treadmill, it has like a little desktop um, because I don't have a standing desk so I can like work and or I can watch an episode of Survivor. I've been walking consistently about three to four miles a day and it's been almost two months. I feel so good because I am incorporating like lifting workouts as well about two to three times a week. But about every day I walk because I look forward to it. It truly feels like me time and like self care time. And it's just been so nice. And even if it's 30 minutes here and there throughout the day, I don't have to drive anywhere. I just get in my walking pad for 30 minutes and walk a mile and a half. And then I'll do it again in the afternoon and I get to watch my show. So it's really nice. I really enjoy it. If you are looking for something just to be able to get more of that intentional movement in at your home, or maybe you wanna be able to like walk while you work, I highly recommend this one. I really do love it. And of course, with the weather getting nicer, I'll be doing more walks outside but still the convenience of being able to get something done while walking is also a perk to having the walking pad inside. This little handheld steamer is so nice. I recently got this because we're traveling a lot coming up here in the next few months. So I wanted to have something that I could take on the go with me and it does fold up really nicely and easily as you can tell. And it just does that. It almost looks like a little hair dryer. It doesn't leak. That was my biggest thing is I feel like anytime I use one of these type of steamers and I went like this, water would just go everywhere. This one, you can turn it whatever way you want and it will not leak. And it just works really well and super easy to use. I recently got my daughter this hamper and the amount of people that always ask about it always blows my mind. Cause I'm like, it's just a hamper. But I get it because it is super cute and you can separate like whites and colors. The little bags easily come out. It just looks really nice in her room. I actually want one for my closet as well now. Sometimes I'll even set her outfit out for the next day on top of the hamper because it's like a nice flat surface and it just fit really well in her room. And I also really like the neutral linen color of it. If you like to eat fruit in your house but you dread cutting it up, these are so nice. It came in a pack of two. They're literally the same. They just come in two different colors. I use these mostly for strawberries, but you could use it for other things as well. Literally just has like little blades there and you just chop up your fruit with it. And then it all goes in here and you dump it into whatever container you're storing the fruit in. And not a necessity, but something that actually is pretty convenient. I find myself using multiple times a week. So I thought I'd mention it. You have things you definitely don't need, but something that might give you a little joy every day. This mug looks like something I would have got from like a farmer's market that somebody handmade themselves like that day. I feel like it's something I would find off of Etsy and I love this thing. I genuinely look forward to drinking out of this. This would also make a great gift as like an add-on for a Mother's Day gift or for a friend's birthday and like a teacher gift, like putting this with like a Starbucks gift card in it, but it just looks so unique and special. I definitely didn't need another mug in my house. This one is my favorite, so it feels worth it. This item in the home section is again for the mamas to be. This is a birthing ball. I didn't really know what section to put this in. I knew I had to mention it, especially if you are pregnant. This thing is so great for a couple of reasons. I used mine a ton towards the end of my pregnancy last time. There's a lot of great like birthing prep movements you can do and things that really just help relieve like back and hip pain. That's like the number one reason why I definitely recommend this. And now for the second pregnancy, I unfortunately I'm feeling a lot of those pains a lot earlier on. I'm only about four months pregnant and a lot of those pains have already started. So super fun for me. And I actually gave my exercise ball to a friend of mine to use during her pregnancy last time. So I went ahead and just bought a new one. The ball itself, amazing benefits. You can actually use it during labor as well. You have to like make sure hospital approves it. But this one in particular comes with a book that whenever I initially opened it, I thought the book was just going to be like how to blow it up and maybe like a few movements. No, this is literally like a book that I would have paid for, especially during my first pregnancy, because it gives you not only exercise to do during each trimester and like using the ball and like proper ways to use it, but it gives you so much about like nutrition during pregnancy and like postpartum stuff and even like newborn hacks and tips. It's like a handbook for new moms and it is so great. Like there's just so much useful information in there. I kept scrolling through it and I was like, wait, yes, all this is so useful because again, this is my second baby. So I did know a lot of the things, but I'm still going to reference it for sure because my memory with all of it, I feel like has just gone away. So if you're looking for a good birthing ball, this one comes with an awesome book. So that's why I really like this one. So I will link it down below again with everything else. Moving on to our last section, toddler and baby finds. First one, again, you're gonna notice a theme because of course I'm pregnant. I wanted to start that conversation with my daughter about like, hey, you are a big sister. You're gonna have a little sister coming soon. And she's actually so excited. And I feel like things like this book helps other than just us talking to her about it. So this one is called, I'm a big sister. Also make one that's called, I'm a big brother. And it's just great. I really like it. It's simple, not long, but she seems to really like to read it as well and it's getting her even more excited to have a little sister. Next book my husband and I are obsessed with. So these are called Cook in a Book and they have a ton of them. We have her, the pancake one. It's an interactive recipe book and these are just nice quality too. They're thick, the pages are thick. 
And what it is, is it goes through like a whole recipe of how to make pancakes. But it's interactive because your kid can like pull things, like make the ingredients go in. It's just very like, clever, like putting the milk in. I really like it, my daughter really likes it. It's just a really fun, different, unique book. They have a ton of different foods as well. I think for her birthday, we are getting her like the taco one. There's like a pizza one. They just have a bunch of different ones. We're probably gonna start just collecting these. My daughter got this for Christmas from my mom and it is her favorite toy I think she's ever owned. And it's an indoor slide. Now they do have ones that fold up. The one that we got doesn't fold up, but I will link both down below. But it's literally just like a plastic slide that you can have inside or you could bring it outside as well. And she loves it. It's sturdy, it's nice. This might sound weird, but I feel like it's helped her become like brave too. Like. She She's, you know, going down on her belly and she's like just trying different ways. And of course we're right there with her. It's not crazy steep or anything. So it's not super fast, but she really loves it. Literally just go down and up, down and up, down and up a million times. It is so fun. I kept seeing this play sink all over social media. I eventually caved. It is so cute and my daughter loves it. And it's nice to use outside. So we'll use it out in our backyard and the water actually flows. So what it does is you basically pour the water into the sink part and then it just like recycles it throughout the um, faucet. And it's so fun. She turns it on and off. She's like learning to wash her hands in it. She's practicing like washing the dishes. It comes with like fruit and stuff, super interactive. And we actually have a neighbor who is five and he loves it too. He comes over and plays with it with her and they both love it. So I think it'll definitely grow with her too. And the last item, is this sleep sack. My daughter just grew out of hers. And I heard a couple moms talking about this brand off of Amazon. And so I was like, well, let's try it. They're not super cheap, but they are more affordable than other brands. The material is so nice, so soft. My daughter always asks, she's like, can I get in my sleep sack? She's like, it's so cozy. And it's so cute when she says that. She genuinely likes me like putting her in it. It just really is so cozy. Now the one we did get her is pretty big on her, but she doesn't seem to mind that. It's just like a big blanket pretty much, but it's pretty long, so it will grow with her. Hopefully you found something that you love. Everything is individually linked down below for you, but I'll also put my Amazon storefront there where I always keep things updated as well. And if you like this type of content and you don't want to see it just once every like six months. Definitely follow me along over on Instagram and TikTok where I post daily on there. There's always some good finds there too. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope to see you on the next one. Love you, bye.